Today, we're gonna to be looking at VideoTap and some of the updates that they did in August that just got released. So here is the August updates for VideoTap, and we can see the different things that they put out. So they had podcast show notes, get summary, key points, episode breakdown, and more. LinkedIn posts, custom content custom tailored for LinkedIn, and email, subject lines, and email blurbs to promote your videos. They also added uh, save clip themes. So basically, if you have clips, you can change the color, the background, text color, stroke, all that stuff. That's great. And then they had another one that I thought was actually really cool that was custom spelling and vocabulary. You can see in this little box right here, but when uh, we transcribe your videos, sometimes we don't always get the words right. With our new custom spelling and custom vocabulary feature, you can write in your important words in how they are spelled. So when they make, uh, they'll make sure that you, they transcribe your video with the words now. So obviously if they, you know, just spell learn wire incorrectly, then we would go and we would fix that. A lot of times when I say chat GPT, it always, Descript always says GBT. So it always gets it wrong, right? So those are things that we might be able to fix with the software. So really cool. We're going to go dive in to these features and look at them one by one. And if you're wondering if uh, VideoTap uh, does rank your content, uh, you can see right over here that I've published four of my videos as blog posts using VideoTap. And you can see that they're all on page one, uh, rank number seven, rank number eight, rank number 10, and rank number 10. And you can actually see that three of those actually get search volume. So this just works. What's uh, kind of interesting, I think is very fascinating about VideoTap is that it's not gonna do any SEO for you. It's literally going to write as if you are a non SEO writer and almost kind of write as if you're just writing to your best friend in first person and uh, kind of like you're just having you know there's just no f formality about it it's really just like talking like we most people uh, talk to each other and that's kind of how it creates these posts and it seems like it it ranks well there are some people out there that have kind of the belief from the seo standpoint that the more strategic technical on-page seo that you do the actual worst rankings you, you will get so that is kind of a philosophy is that the more keywords you try and nlp keywords semantic keywords that you put in your content it can actually backfire on you this right here with these four rankings this actually proves that you don't have to go and plug all your content into neuron writer and grab a bunch of keywords and uh, make sure all your h1s and h2s and all the you know different uh, seo tactics this is literally just going to write the content and basically write it in a way like you're talking to your best friend about a software that you just got, right? And these seem to be rank ranking as well. So this software will save you time and so forth. So let's go uh, jump back in and check it out. We're going to come over here to YouTube real quick, and I'm just going to grab one of my videos that I know I haven't published yet. So we'll go like this. We'll copy the link address. Then we'll go into video tap and we'll say add videos. And I'm curious to see if it's going to be able to add a YouTube video because I know that there was about a month there where a lot of these YouTube downloaders or, uh, you know, putting in a YouTube URL, they didn't work because YouTube has cracked down really hard. I've even gotten one of my videos. One of you guys asked, I had a video taken down because Michaela was just grabbing a YouTube video and trying to show how one of these tools worked and the YouTube AI, you know, uh, and basically flagged our video and we were just trying to demonstrate a software but it's completely against uh, YouTube's terms of service to just download people's YouTube videos and there's no way I don't know if there's any way of these tools to make sure that you're only downloading your own content right and so that is uh, definitely something that a lot of these tools you'd go to them and they would actually say um, that we don't work right now we're working on a fix and then we even got emails from like Minvo and I believe video tap for a while there where th this function wasn't working. So we'll see if this works right here. We'll see if we can add this video. Maybe they've um, found workarounds, obviously, but you really should only be grabbing content, at least from uh, YouTube's standpoint, you should only be grabbing your own videos from YouTube. So we just grabbed this video 1080p. I'm going to say start processing right now. And we'll be back in just a sec. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you an estimate now. It brings in the video, it's processing it, then it's going to generate the uh, transcript, creating content, making social clips. We've got about nine minutes uh, of wait time. This is a long video, 30 minutes, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back. It's processed the video, it's generated the transcript, it's created the content. So let's go over and check this out. We'll click back over here on videos, I believe. 
and then we'll go into go high level and we'll click inside of it right there. And this is where we're gonna get all of our content right over here. So let's go back over to the email and we're gonna look at podcast show notes real quick, LinkedIn posts and email. So we'll go to podcast and see it's still creating those. We'll go to email. It is still creating. Okay, so we're good on email right here. So we have subject lines. Let's say after you you create your video, you upload it to video tap, and then you want to go and send it out to all these different places. Right now it's creating the email. You can send it out to your email list, which is super cool. I have a custom GPT a chat that I've created that does this for me, but this is even better because we're going to be able to do it all in one fell swoop kind of. Subject lines, discover Go High Level's top features, uh, my honest review, unveiling my Go High Level experience. I think the titles could be a little bit better when it comes to subject lines. Studying email marketing and things like that, you're going to need a, a longer email than this. And there's a lot that goes into email marketing. And if it's going to end up in the inbox or people's promotion box, there's different words that you can use and so forth. So I'm sure they haven't gone into all that with this, with my custom prompts and stuff like that, that I use in my business. I actually have it kind of dialed in pretty well. And I usually hit the people's inboxes and not the promotions. So something to just be aware of on subject lines, you might want to, you know, kind of have your own method um, for the subject line. But we have our email content, curious about the Go High Level platform. I've spent months diving into it, its features and used it to build funnels and websites, watch my detailed video. So it's short and to the point, as is true, I did use it for months before doing the review and all that, so that is true. Is Go High Level the ultimate marketing tool? I've been a paid user for months. I like this because it's this is factual information. And this right here kind of lets people know that this isn't a typical review because I've used the tool for months before actually making the review. A lot of times I just do un software unboxing where I'm not able to use the tool for months, right? But in this case, I held off on doing a review until I kind of understood the tool because it is a very complex tool. So that kind of helps out. I like that. I want our real users take on Go High Level. I reveal the funnels and websites that I've used, blah, 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 right there. So pretty useful. I definitely think that this is good. I'd maybe like to see a little bit better uh, subject. Hopefully they're watching this video. Let's go and see if they did the LinkedIn post for us. We'll come over here to LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is something that I have been working on trying to implement in my business. And I have been also using closely for outreach to other, you know, SaaS and software companies in my campaign. I'm starting to make connections with people and so forth. So once you make those connections, then that's when, you know, making p uh, posts on your, your profile can actually possibly get more engagement because you have more people that you're connected with, more followers, et cetera, et cetera. So what does this say? All in one platforms are game changers. I spent months deeply exploring go high levels so it's going to be a little bit more now i don't know if these are you know what the size of this is so if i just go and we'll go to word counter real quick and throw this in so i mean you've got 44 words what i'm going to do is so linkedin posts should typically be um, about 1300 words to 2000 words and that's actually coming from LinkedIn themselves so just wanted to kind of point that out that I mean 44 words that's not going to be a LinkedIn post is going to be more like a blog it's kind of like a blog post how many characters is okay so 250 words all right so it's a uh, 250 words yeah so not a blog post but we definitely need it to be about five or six times more than what they're giving us in video tap so just doing the tests for you guys. So it's nice that they implemented this, but they definitely need to kind of take this to another level. We need more content. It needs to be a substantial post. It needs to be about four or five times larger than this. Give a little bit more away. You're talking to business people that can handle more than just a little, you know, kind of tweet, if you will. So there's the LinkedIn uh, feature. I'm going to go back to podcast, see if it's done yet. Okay, so we've got the podcast is done. Go high level review, all in one marketing platform. You do have a table of contents right here. You have your introduction. Now this is, sup is supposed to be a get a summary, key points, episode breakdown, and more. I mean, it looks almost like a blog post. Welcome to this in-depth review of Go High Level. And then it has a screenshot. It has related resources right there. Episode summary. So there's the summary right there, a key takeaways, notable quotes right there. So this is pretty good. It's a little different than a blog post, but it's very detailed, deep, detailed episode. So you'd be sending these out to whatever, you know, if you have a, 
subscriber base. Maybe this is part of a newsletter. You would maybe send this out and it would be helpful to them as well. Maybe if you have a, if you have a school community, I love that they take screenshots from the video. So it's actual real images that are not by AI that are relevant to your video. Like this slide right here. It's perfect that it, that it pulled that out. I like that a lot. So this is pretty good. Then it has a wrapping up section. So really good. I like that. I think that this was the big heavy hitter from the updates. The podcast one was definitely really good. I think they need to improve the email and the LinkedIn, but podcast summary was really good. Let's go take a look at what the blog uh, looks like. Cause I know you guys are probably curious. Um, here's the blog. Let me go and just uh, copy this real quick and go into the word count and just see how many words this one is. So we got a thousand word blog post right there. Really good stuff. And then look, all right, we're diving deep into Go High Level or GHL, as it's often called. I've been a paid customer for months putting, so I, this is why I like the way that VideoTap writes. It's writing in first person. I have been a paid customer for months. That's all instantly giving me credibility, helping with EAT. It, it's kind of qualifying the rest of the article that I did something. I reviewed, I used the software. So that's why you should listen to me and my blog post, right? That's why I personally like that kind of writing. And then, you know, short and, short and sweet, I think it, this might need to be a little bit cleaned up a little bit to make it a little bit shorter. And then it says, what is go high level, popularity and market share, features and breakdown. And we've got these bullet points right there. Then we've got the nice screenshots of Insider. This is clearly a blog post that's created that looks like someone actually did review the software, right? Starter plan is at 97 per month. Yes, they have an unlimited plan. I don't see where the price is on that. I think it's 297. So, so those are you need to spend five minutes going through every article you publish. I don't care if you use Koala, Agility Writer, Harbor. I don't care if you're using Zim Writer or you're using VideoTap. You do need to read through your articles, in my opinion, to make sure that they're right. Like right here, we have the starting plan and it, it got it right. But then unlimited plan, it did not put the pricing in, right? You want to go in here, look for misspellings, words that it got wrong or whatever. That way you can go and correct those. I'm going to show you that in a second as well. See where if we can do the, the settings on that as well. But here's the walkthrough, the marketplace, affiliate portal, deep dive. I mean, this is really a robust type review showing pictures, so showing real live case studies of actually using the software. It just doesn't get much better than this, right, guys? So plenty of images. If that's something I'm not really sure. Leave a comment below what you guys think about like the images when they cross over. Do we need to download each one of these images? I mean, that would that that, that would cut into your workflow for sure, right? And instead of just copying and pasting. What's typically happening is you copy and paste this in and then during the publishing process in WordPress, it asks you to um, upload external images and then it just does that for you, which is great. But I wonder how, what the size of these images are, if they're going to slow down the website or not, right? And then you have your final thoughts, pros, cons, final rating, 4.7. It even added in the final rating. Um, this is just really good. Obviously, I mean, like right here, um, that's a bonus. If someone, if I post this and someone lands on my blog post and reads this, perhaps they see this image right there. They think that's cool. Then they, they reach out to me or something like that, right? So but you can go through the images. I mean, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There's 10 images on this blog post. You, I would recommend cutting it down to five. So you're going to cut some of those images out. But I like that it's giving you the option and giving you a lot of the, and so I would either take away and just push delete than have to go through and try to add images. So still the blog post is still my favorite feature of VideoTap. Looks like it's even getting better and better because I haven't really used it in a couple months. Let's go see if we can look at clips and see how, what it did with clips. So this is where your Opus clip type content comes in. It does do like long form right here. This is something that I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, on right here, but you have to switch these to the different size, the 16, the nine by 16, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to go over to settings and see where that setting that we can go and actually do custom. Yeah, here it is. Custom vocabulary. So if we wanted to add the custom spelling, a custom vocabulary. You can do that by just clicking over here, misspelled word, correct spelling right here, add vocabulary, common spoken word right there as well. So add important words that are spoken into your video. Now, this is usually your company name, product names, or other important words you can add word by word. Super cool. So those are the updates for VideoTap that I do update video for you on this, that they are continuing to update the software. That's a good sign for an LTD to continue to be updating the software for those that bought the lifetime deal. 
and for new, uh, new customers coming in. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.